Okay, YouTubers, Space Detectives, a real quick report today on this, which has hit the news in the last day or two. Uh, this is the bird on Mars, the bird or UFO, whatever you want to call it. It looks like a bird, doesn't mean it is a bird. Um, I'm going to go with UFO because we, don't, we can't positively identify what it is. And it's very close to the recent bright UFO that was spotted a couple of weeks ago. Now, I've got this image here. Now, this was taken on the 24th of the 6th. There's another image from the same set, from the same day, taken on the 24th of the 6th. There's the date there. Now, this is the same area. This is the same thing that's moved, okay? Uh, it's much smaller here and probably f further away. If I flip between the two images, got that one, and we've got this one. Now, uh, let me line these up a bit so that, that makes more sense. There we are. We've got the little black speck there, and we go to the later image, and we have it much closer and further up, just there. And even in, at this level of zoom, you can see a wing shape sticking up. Now, what was I found very interesting about this is that it's very close to this one, which I published recently, a couple of weeks ago. This was taken in the, just f slightly further along the same ridge. Let me flick back to the previous image. Look at the, the sand dunes here, look at the ridge line. And I'll go back, and we have the same sand dunes and the same ridge line, slightly different angle, but basically the, the rover has barely moved since then. And uh, it's the same spot, literally the same area, the same ridge line. This is a bit further up. This is a bit further over and lower down. It's approximately the same size, or at least it looks that way. But this is obviously very different. This is a very bright looking object. And the one we're looking at today, the new one, the bird, is a black bird shaped object in the sky. And there it is again, further away. So let's crack on with this. I'm not going to take too long with this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show clips from the previous video or two about UFOs in this area so that you can have a closer look at, at these things and compare them back to back um, in, in greater detail, okay? Right, what I did, I took some clips. Let's have a look at the raw clip first. Uh, there's reasonably close up one there. There we are. There's nothing done to this image at all apart from it being enlarged. And you can see, when you zoom in, it's got a very flat body shape quite chunky sort of body shape there with what looks like something hanging down but it's very vague this is quite a low res image as a lot of these are so any fine details would be blurred whereas larger objects obviously will show up but it's just on the edge of the the, the resolution of this photograph really um, you've got the, the edge of Gale crater in the background there that's approximately 25 miles away that ridge line there okay and you can see motion blur in this, so this looks like a wing. It may not be a wing, but it, it, there is motion blur, which means this is moving. This thing is moving. And there's more motion blur in this part than there is in this part, which probably means that this is flapping. Now, I'm not saying this is a bird. It could actually be a bird drone. We do have on Earth many uh, companies now making drones that are based on birds and insects and various other things, uh, bugs and, and, and stuff used for surveillance, so this could be a drone. Um, I'm not saying it is a bird, it could be, I doubt it, um, but you know, I'm not going to rule it out because basically uh, you don't, we don't really know what's going on up there. Uh, we're, we're told a lot of BS by people in power and uh, to be honest a lot of it's probably just that BS and uh, we may have been sold a sack of BS by certain people on the subject, so who knows? Um, I've done a meme clip of it there. Let's show you that now. Uh, let's get the bitmap of that. That's higher quality. Now, unusually with this, because it's so clear, and uh, because it's a dark object on a light background, I haven't enhanced this in any way at all. Normally, I do a, an enhanced clip and put the enhanced clip over the raw clip, like I've got here. But this was so clear, all I did was take a clip and enlarge it, and then put it on top. So. This hasn't been enhanced in any way. This is just larger, this bit here. And you can see, if you look really carefully, there's something, there's a kind of a slightly blurred out bit of detail just hanging down here, which may be a wheel or maybe feet or, or something, but it, it's too vague. We've got a lighter part here. It seems almost like there's another wing just behind it and it's catching the light. So we've got a kind of reflection there, who knows? 
it, if it was a bird, I would expect this to be round, more rounded and have more of a point at one end, like a beak. And I would also expect uh, the tail to be much more narrow at this end, if that is the tail. Who knows? So it doesn't look quite right to me. It looks more like a mechanical object that, that is pretending to be a bird. Um, because it, it just seems way too straight, this, this part of the body here, if that is the body. It seems way, way too straight. It's going close. You can see, if I go in close to this, how straight that is. Perfectly straight. And we've got a wing-like thing coming up here, which is really blurred, as if it's flapping or moving. So it's an interesting detail there. And it's very close to the recent um, Bright UFO. It's the same area as I showed a second ago. Um, and let me show you the other image. Uh, there's, this is the raw image here. It's quite small. These aren't very big images. And there it is up there. There it is raw, okay. And now, that, as I said, this is the same ridge line as the bright UFO, which was over here. And that ridge line at the back is the edge of Gale Crater and is approximately 25 miles away. Right, that gives you an idea of scale. And we have the other image where you see what looks like the same object or UFO or bird or whatever it's supposed to be down here. So it's moved from there and it's, it's flown or moved upwards in the image. And it doesn't appear in any other of the images in the, in the image set. When you go to the page, which I'll link to below in the description, um, they're all blank apart from these two. And basically, um, there, there is a gap between them. I think there's about 15 or 20 images on the page, and uh, most of them don't show anything apart from these two. And uh, this is, may well be the same thing here that's just moved away and further down. Who knows? But it, it does seem rather strange that it's almost the same spot. I wonder if I can flick between them and, and make that a bit more obvious. Let's try that. There's that one. And there it is there. It's really small, we can just about make it out. Let me go. No, it won't let me do that. Yeah, so if I flick between them, you can see it moving. So it's moved closer and, and further up in the second image, there. And the first one, it's down there, just above the ridge line and further back. So is this some kind of magic ridge line? Uh, all the newspaper people and, and people like uh, from NASA were commenting on the bright UFO recently saying it was just a probably a cosmic ray hitting the image sensor and all this nonsense. Yeah, whatever. Um, you know, this thing is not a cosmic ray. This is very dark, it has a wing, and it has a body. Very similar to, to some of the UFOs I've shown previously uh, on my channel. Um, there was one or two last year, and there's been a few this year already. So this area is a real hot spot. And um, may, there may be many more to come in this same, very same spot. Uh, there's a lot of activity going on here. Let's have another look at that. There we are. So you can see that this thing has a body and a wing, or at least what looks like a wing, with lots of motion blur, just there, and a reflective part there. But if this was a bird, I'd imagine this, if this is the tail, this should be much thinner and kind of fade out. Uh, but we may be seeing it from a slight angle. It's very odd. Um, and if it was a bird, would it really be this straight? Would it have more of a curve and a body, natural kind of curve to it underneath? I have done uh, images of birds. I'm an artist. I used to paint birds of prey. It does look very much, the wing shape does look very much like a bird of prey, like a, a raptor of some sort. So who knows? Could it be a bird? Probably not. Could it be a drone pretending to be a bird? Possibly. I'm not going to rule it out. Let's have a look at the negative there. As you can see, you can just about make out that lighter part underneath there, just there, like a wheel shape. So there it is, and, but this body part is very, very, very straight and a bit too straight for my liking. So this is probably a mechanical object, if it is an object of any sort, it's probably mechanical. Um, at least that's my opinion, could be wrong of course, please leave a comment below. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to flick through. Um, some of the other stuff that I showed. The bright UFO is this one. Now this is the same ridge line. There's the, there's the bright UFO. This is the previous video I did on the bright UFO um, about two weeks ago. And uh, obviously the same, you've got these same dunes here. You've got the same dark ridge. So the, the, the rover's barely moved since this was taken. 
and there's only eight days between this image and the image I'm showing you today. So th these are taken quite close together. So that was it really. I'm going to show you some clips now and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some clips in of, of a few previous videos showing this area, showing this video here and also the rod UFOs that were spotted not far from here, a bit further over to the left, about only about 50 metres away from here. They were um, filmed recently by the rover. So I'm going to show a bit of that video as well and I'm going to compare and contrast them for you so you can see them in sequence and see if there's any similarities that you may be able to pick out. Okay. Do excuse my voice, I've got a, a summer cold for some reason. So thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be putting the clips coming up now.